you're struggling with your energy during competitions and still want to perform well, then these are my best tips. Today, we're diving into a crucial aspect of your performance, carbohydrate loading. Now, I know it might sound a little bit technical, but I want you to think of it like fueling up your body just like you would with a car for a long journey. Before we get into the details, I want you to understand why carbohydrates are so, so important for athletes like you. Carbohydrates are like a premium fuel for your body, especially during high intensity exercise, whether that's sprinting, squash, a game of football, and your body stores these carbs as glycogen in your muscles and your liver. And these act as a reserve for that extra burst of energy that you need. But here's the catch. These glycogen stores are limited. So if you've ever felt like you've hit a wall during a game, that might be because you didn't have enough stored carbohydrate in your muscles. Think of it this way, okay? Just like a car needs the right fuel before a long journey, your body needs the right kind of fuel too. And that fuel for you is carbohydrate. Now, here's the interesting part. When you eat carbohydrates, it takes time for them to go through your digestive system and reach your muscles and liver. Now, this process isn't a quick pit stop. It's more like planning your journey days in advance. So instead of consuming carbs right before the game, you should start fueling up 24 to 36 hours before your competition. And this strategic approach is what we call carbohydrate loading. Now, carbohydrate loading doesn't mean stuffing yourself with pasta the night before. It's about incorporating extra carb-rich meals into your diet in the lead up to the big performance. So for instance, you could add a bowl of porridge with chopped banana, or you could add a delicious fruit smoothie with honey, and you add these on top of your regular meals. So it's about making smart choices that boost your energy reserves. Now your need for carbohydrates isn't constant. So on the days when you're less active, you won't need nearly as much. But on the days where you're pushing yourself, you're training harder, or you're competing, then you need more fuel. Now let's talk about the game day strategy. So fueling for competition should already be in full swing 24 to 36 hours before the event. Now this means that you've got enough carbohydrates stored to last you through the entire performance. On game day, it's more about topping up your fuel stores with lighter, easy to digest meals. One is make sure it's low in fiber. Avoid whole grains or brown pasta, brown rice. You wanna opt for lighter options to avoid any kind of digestion discomfort during the game. Two is make sure it's low in fat. So keep your meals low in fat to prevent any kind of GI distress or stomach issues. This isn't the time for heavy, greasy foods. And three is stick to familiar foods. So game day is not the time to be experimenting. Stick to what you know and what you know works for your body. Now, if your game is in the afternoon, here's a meal timing strategy. So you're gonna get up early, kickstart your day with a medium to large breakfast that is rich in carbohydrates. You're gonna think bowl of porridge with fruit or honey. And then your breakfast should be pretty much the largest meal of your day. So by the time that you get to your match, your stomach should be pretty much empty and your last meal should be three to four hours before the event. You're gonna choose meals that are easy to digest, like your pasta, chicken, rice, potatoes, even things like pancakes. You're gonna limit fats and proteins and high fiber foods. So it's about giving your body the right fuel, but without weighing it down. Now let's talk about snacking. So while it's become pretty common to see athletes munching on snacks like jelly sweets or Jaffa cakes right before a game, it's not always necessary. So if you've properly loaded up on carbohydrates in the lead up, you might not need them. However, a caveat to that is if you have a go-to snack that you swear by and it sits well with you, then that's perfectly fine, okay? Listen to what your body needs. During the game or competition, staying hydrated is also really, really crucial. So you wanna aim to take in 150 mils of fluid every 15 to 20 minutes. So roughly two to three mouthfuls. And if your event is lasting more than 60 minutes, you wanna consider including some simple carbohydrates. It could be a sports drink, a few jellies, Jaffa cakes, or half a banana. So to wrap it up, carbohydrate is your primary fuel. Adjust your carb intake based on your activity level. Start fueling for your competition well in advance and have a well thought out game day plan. Okay, your body is the engine and if you fuel it properly, you'll be absolutely unstoppable. If you found these tips helpful, give us a like, subscribe for more sports nutrition content. And let me know your game day rituals in the comments below.